Hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Today I want to, first off I'm going to say thank you to everybody that has recently subscribed to my channel because uh, yeah I've grown like 600% in the last month so thanks everybody I appreciate it. Um, I'm not here for money I'm here to do what I do and hopefully somebody finds it entertaining or helpful or something so thank you. I'm glad to see that. Um, so far this morning we fished the old Holland transplanter out of the bush. Um, I sprayed it down with some penetrating oil and let the guy know I finally got it out for him. Um, got the 484 over here with the boom pole on it and my International 420 um, two bottom plow hanging on it at the moment. Um, this probably hasn't been used in, well, I know it hasn't been used in 15 years. There's no probably about it. It hasn't been used in 15 years. Um, so long that the cheap spray paint I used on the coulters and the plow bottoms rusted off and here it is now. So. As is usual, we have a lot of stuff to do, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just, uh, this was the plow that my grandfather bought with an International 674 that he used to own. I got sold at auction probably in 2000, and... We bought this old plow because it really kind of fit what we were doing at the time. Um, you know, it hasn't it hasn't been over a whole lot of acres. The acres that it has been over were kind of rough, though. Um, lots of rocks, lots of abrasive clay, stuff like that. But when last I used it, everything worked pretty good on it. Um, looks like whoever may have used it after that didn't do a very good job of putting it away. But anyway, we got this culture is stuck. This one turns, but something's not right with it. I don't know if it's just the chain that it's hanging next to or what. Yeah, that seems to be all it is, is just that chain. So that one there needs some grease in it. This one here, we're going to have to try and force some grease or something into it, see if we can get it to free up. And then starts the process of trying to get the plows and everything all shined up again so it'll actually work right. But anyway, this is what I'm doing today. Um, and hopefully... In the near future, we're going to hook it onto the 484 and go do a little bit of plowing. I need to turn up about three acres of ground here. And hopefully that will solve my sycamore tree problem that I continually have. Just can't quite seem to kill the things. But anyway, let me uh, get a, find a grease gun and we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so surprisingly enough, there is a grease passage open through this culture. It just doesn't work, so we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, something I noticed on the one that is free is this tab right here should be in this hole, and it is not. I got the same thing going on on the other one, so this is probably going to be a bit more labor-intensive than I was really hoping for, but we'll get it eventually. Um, so, yeah, let me uh, figure out what I'm going to do next, and I'll be back. Okay, so I pulled our culture apart, kind of cleaned things up a little bit, just scraped it off, everything. Looks pretty good as far as these outside bearings go, really, I mean, not much to that. 
The bolt, on the other hand, has a little bit of a problem. So we're going to have to track down another bolt. Um, and then, oh, get this thing up here, the coulter itself. Hmm, I've seen worse, let's say. So we're going to go with that as being okay. Now, let's go see if we can find one of these out here someplace. One handy thing about having old junk around is there's usually parts. Usually. Let's see here. I don't know how lucky we're going to get. So far, so good, though. I'm beginning to be impressed here. That's actually coming off. I don't know if it'll keep coming off or not, but it is actually coming off. So, uh, if I can get the camera to stand up anyway. That's the hardest part about doing this stuff, is just being able to get the camera to stand up. not going to cooperate. So let me figure this part out and we'll get back to you. One thing I hate about not having my service truck is I don't have all my tools that I need. There's tools in there that I could use, but oh, finding them is sometimes a problem. So here's my punch we're going to use if I can get it to work. That'd be great. If I can get it to work, that'd be great. And of course, this bolt is quite literally no better whatsoever. You guys can see there, but it is definitely also worn out. So yeah, I guess to fix the plow. We're gonna have to go to the hardware store. 